The tutorial video on changing the U.S. version of iPhone 14 Pro Max eSIM without the card to dual SIM phone. Today we will change the U.S. version of iPhone 14 into the dual SIM phone. We can see that the phone can be inserted into the SIM card. We have three steps. The first step is to install the card slot. The second step is to open the tiny hole. The third step is to install the phone and test. The U.S. version of iPhone 14 has the card slot after activating it, but we can scan the QR code to set it directly or take advantage of a nearby iPhone to transfer. But we don't need this operation now. We need to plug in the SIM card. LL, this is the US version and now I'm going to take it apart and store the slot. We augment the process of disassembling the machine. The millimeter wave antenna is in this area. Take the motherboard out quickly. Take out car slot. You can see where the slot used to be. Now it's one piece of plastic. Take out the plastic first. I thought this plastic was stuck to it. No, it's movable. There's a clap on it. What I imagine is that the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Plus can be changed into the dual SIM phone by replacing the external small car slot board. But it was far from what we thought because above the domestic card slot, there's an eSIM chip card slot, but the US version has none. The mainboard has to be layered. Only change the mainboard, it can be changed from the new SIM card film to dual SIM card film. Now, we need to separate the upper and the lower layers and remove the eSIM chip. The US version used the best material. We could see they when we took it apart. It is supposed to be no chip on these areas, but the US version is all about stacking. There were no domestic ones like that. Even if it were given to us, we don't need it. Firstly, we bring up the heat on the upper level, and then separate the top and the bottom. You must be very careful when you fix iPhone 14 and iPhone Plus. The upper mainboard is soft. It means in the process of layering, it's very easy to cause deformation of the main board. After severe deformation, it will be very difficult to fit. Because now this is the upper layer of the partition which corresponds to the lower layer before. Why doesn't the lower layer deform? Because it has the support of frame. It will not have any deformation. Now it has no frame to support. Single mainboard is very thin and weak. ESIM chip is in this area. You can only see ST32J03A224 ESIM chip under a microscope. The ESIM card chip must be removed. But it doesn't mean removing it. We can put it in the card slot. No. These wires in the board layer have to be replaced. Now, the wires are for matching the ESIM card chip. We need to match the reading card circuit. So we need to change some resistance. Firstly, remove the eSIM chip. In the second step, we will turn the 20K identification resistance and the eSIM card identification resistance into a physical card identification resistance. Move it to the right place. Just move it. Don't change. Put the eSIM card identification resistance. Remove to the location of the SIM card identification resistance. Put it well and then check the situation of the card slot. The process of this operation needs a lot of work. First, move the two protection resistors down. First, change the path from the eSIM card chip to the SIM card. Let's move down two resistors. This resistor is moving directly out. Now we have to get rid of the, a lot of resistors. Actually, I'm not going to move out these resistors. I will just put it where I want it to be. Everyone watch carefully. How to change it depends on you. In the process of changing the car slot, anyway, the whole thing is moving resistors. Okay, so far, all the changes on the main board, we are done. 
next is to check the situation of reading card. Install the slot and measure the resistance. The resistance values are alright and then we can take the next step. Let's see if the refitting was successful. Good, 8 foot resistance values are already normal. The next step is to restore the two main bolts. And when we do the restoration, we have to put a thermal conductive paste that has a regional factory performance. I want to know more than anything. After the US version changed into dual SIM card, whether the signal will be much stronger than domestic. After all, the signal port has been strengthened by a lot of things. For example, the domestic board looks empty. The board of the US version looks a lot more stuff on it. In order to achieve the performance of a regional factory that's not degrade, first of all, thermal conductive paste is necessary. Squeeze appropriate thermal conductive paste in, then install the upper layer back on. Thermal conductive paste cannot be squeezed too much. Sometimes it comes up above the middle ring, which will affect our compactness. Turn the foam on. We install it for testing. Let's see whether we can read the card. If you can read the card, you are basically successful. If you can't read the card, you are not successful. Let's see if we succeed. Okay, back to the activation page again. It means this has read the card. Let's see when it's activated. Does it suggest something? The signal has come. However, if you inform that the SIM card is invalid, the signal is full when the SIM card is invalid. That means the card change has been successful. I can't get the lock free phone. So I just took the lock one. The lock one means a card sticker. Now the stickers are made smaller. Now try the single SIM card. Try dual SIM card again later, step by step. Okay, so we got the car stickers debarked well now. And then the signal of the first car is coming. Let's make a phone call and try start service. It works. Then the second car is inserted and test again. If the transmitter on the rear case is not installed, it will restart. So I put this transmitter on, insert two SIM card into the car sticker. Then both cards can be read. At this time, use the R SIM card sticker to unlock it. And the dual SIM cards have normal signal. Perfect dual SIM. The US version iPhone can be changed to dual SIM card phone. There is no problem with the double card. I will get another one next time. The first part goes here today. Next, we will figure out how to make a notch on the frame without a chase. Goodbye.